in many cases, the substance properties as well as genetic factors play a role in an adverse health effect. Thus, the exposure conditions are very important. For example, previous chemical exposures, such as smoking or alcohol abuse, can play a large role in disease development. Age is another key factor. Children and elderly are often more susceptible to diseases um, in case of children, fast ingestion rate compared to their body weight. A person in poor health is obviously more susceptible to environmental risks because their body is already out of alignment and no longer exists in homeostasis. Of course, some people are just more predisposed or resistant to certain forms of infection or certain forms of contaminants. However, that does not help us on a large scale in green chemistry because, as a rule, they also always have to take care of the least resistant portions of the population. And therefore, we aim to design chemicals that do not produce hazards and do not cause risks to everyone equally. Obviously, in the real world, we're exposed to many chemical combinations at the same time. Everything is a chemical, and in some rate or another, it is likely to enter your body. However, different combinations of chemicals can have very different effects. For example, cigarette smoke and heavy asbestos exposure multiply the risk of cancer. And in this case, chemical exposure does not work like math. 2 plus 2 isn't equal to 4. There are three types of basic chemical interaction. There is antagonism, when one chemical is reduces the effect of another. That is the function of antidotes. Antidotes are antagonistic to the effect of poisons. Therefore, they reduce the effect of the poison and keep you alive. Additive toxicity. It is simply that when you're exposed to two chemicals, it is like added concentration of the two chemicals together. So alcohol and aspirin add together to increase toxicity. Finally, there is the synergistic effect. Synergistic effect makes things a lot, a lot worse, such as asbestos and smoking. Asbestos damages lungs. Smoking can further that effect by interacting with the damaged tissue in a different way and therefore causing cancer progression. Pesticides and fertilizer act in much the same way where exposure to both multiplies the effect. We don't exist in a world where we're exposed to one chemical in a controlled environment. We exist, exist in a natural laboratory where we're exposed to thousands of chemicals all the time. So the interactions, while might not always be important, can play a key role, just like interactions of environment with your genetics.